22-year-old Wander Franco, the once rising star from the Dominican Republic, now finds himself entangled in a shocking scandal and possible criminal charges. Allegations of money laundering and an illicit affair with a minor have sent shockwaves through the baseball community, risking his thriving career to crumble right before our eyes. Today, we embark on the unfolding saga of Wander Franco, delving into how his actions have cast a dark shadow over both his name and legacy in the baseball world. But before we discuss the latest news, let's take a moment to trace the journey of this promising shortstop through the ranks of MLB. And he swings, hits it high and deep and gone! Home run! Ranked as one of the top international prospects in the 2017 international class, Wander Franco signed with the Tampa Bay Rays organization on July 2nd, 2017. The young shortstop made his professional debut in 2018 with the Princeton Rays. At just 17 years old, Franco was named the 2018 Appalachian League Player of the Year after hitting a whopping 374 batting average with 11 home runs and 57 runs batted in over 245 plate appearances for the Princeton Rays. Before the 2019 season, Franco was ranked as the fourth best prospect in baseball by Baseball America and was even named to the 2019 All-Star Futures game. By the 2020 season, Wander Franco ranked as the number one prospect in all of baseball. There was no stopping him, as he later went on to be eligible to play in the big leagues that same year. The top of the lineup for the American team. Wander Franco base hit to lead things off. In 2021, Franco made his debut with a remarkable performance, hitting a three-run shot off Red Sox starter Eduardo Rodriguez. During that impressive year, he not only set a record for the longest run by a player under 21 since 1961, but also achieved the feat of reaching base safely for the 37th consecutive time surpassing Mickey Mantle's 36-game on-base streak for a player aged 20 or younger. Franco's mind-blowing feat piled up even more as he became the youngest player at age 20 in baseball history to sign a contract worth at least $100 million, passing Ronald Acuna Jr.'s eight-year, $100 million contract extension signed in 2019. It was also the largest for any player with less than one year of Major League service. By the 2022 season, he had his first multi-home run game against the Boston Red Sox and became the youngest player in the Rays franchise history to have a multi-homer game at 21 years old. He set career highs in virtually all statistical categories, including 17 home runs, 58 RBIs, and 30 steals. Wander Franco was doing exceptionally well until an unforeseen event abruptly altered the course of his promising career. Officials in the Dominican Republic are now investigating allegations regarding Rays superstar Wander Franco. The shortstop is being accused of having an inappropriate relationship with a minor. Following a series of allegations and investigations on his illicit relationships with minors, Franco's stay in the MLB is hanging loosely by a thread. On August 14th, the Rays placed Franco on the restricted list, followed by paid administrative leave on August 22nd. While the young shortstop's career is currently on hold, he is under investigation by Dominican police and MLB's Department of Investigations for his involvement in the crime. Now, multiple allegations have emerged, with at least three different girls coming forward. The age of consent in the Dominican Republic is 18, and while no legal charges have been filed, Dominican-based MLB reporter Hector Gomez shared on X last Tuesday, new evidence has emerged in the Wander Franco case, further implicating him in the allegations of alleged relationships with minors. These allegations were later confirmed by local authorities in the Dominican Republic, Franco's home country, as they conducted searches at two residences, one belonging to Franco and the other to his mother. According to the Tampa Bay Times, Franco appeared to deny the claims in an Instagram Live video in Spanish. They say that I'm in public with a little girl, that I'm running around with a minor, 
Franco said in August, according to the outlet. People don't know what to do with their time. They don't know what they're talking about. That's why I prefer to be on my side and not get involved with anybody, because people gossip and talk smack. Still on administrative leave, the MLB does not consider it a disciplinary measure for the allegations. Rather, it serves as a means to initiate an investigation, temporarily removing the player from the roster and making him available for interviews by investigators. During this period, the player continues to receive their regular salary and accumulated service time. If desired, a player on administrative leave is free to appeal for reinstatement via an arbitration panel. Franco was summoned to meet with investigators in the Dominican Republic on Thursday, December 28th regarding these allegations, but did not appear. The prosecutor's office for children and adolescents in Santo Domingo had ordered Franco to appear at 11 a.m. local time. A video posted by the local newspaper around 11.45 a.m. depicted officials waiting for his arrival, eventually listing him as a no-show. On Monday, January 1st, he was detained and is now expected to see a judge on Friday. The Associated Press reported that prosecutors have also requested Franco be held on an $86,000 bond, barred from leaving the Dominican Republic, his native country, and placed under house arrest. Both MLB and the Tampa Bay Rays have refrained from providing comments in response to his detention. Yeah, according to ESPN in the Dominican Republic, Tampa Bay Rays superstar shortstop Wander Franco has been detained by authorities there. Despite being sidelined amid allegations and an ongoing investigation, Franco continues to receive his $2 million salary, with a similar amount slated for next season as part of his $182 million 11-year contract that began in 2022. In the event of a suspension following the investigation, his payments would cease for the duration of the ban. Wander Franco is also set to receive a bonus exceeding $700,000 from Major League Baseball, even during his leave. This comes as part of MLB's pre-arbitration bonus pool established in the 2022 labor contract between the league and the Players Association. The initiative aims to reward young players, particularly those earning at or just above the minimum major league salary based on their tenure in the big leagues. The star shortstop was having an outstanding all-star season before it all took a turn for the worse. The $50 million MLB bonus pool is distributed based on a joint wins above replacement formula designed to measure a player's overall value to their team. Before his season was cut short, projections indicated he would receive over $896,000 from the bonus pool, based on war calculations through June 26th. Payments were due by December 31st, and Franco's two-year bonus pool total is an impressive $999,000. There's no denying that the young shortstop truly exceeded expectations with his outstanding performances on the field. And he swings, hits it high, and deep, and gone! Home run! Franco's last appearance for the Rays was on August 12th. That was the day before social media posts surfaced involving him and a girl allegedly a minor. He was reinstated to the 40-man roster in a procedural move while the investigation continued. If his status remains unresolved by the start of spring training, he could be placed back on administrative leave or face more severe consequences. These unfortunate allegations have cast a shadow over Franco's career and reputation. Considered one of the most promising young players in baseball, the fate of Franco's spring season hinges on the outcome of these allegations and his baseball career could take a drastic turn. Major League Baseball has launched an investigation into the Rays shortstop Wander Franco and the team placed him on the restricted list after social media posts questioned the age of a young female in the Dominican Republic with whom Franco allegedly had a relationship. Sources familiar with the situation told ESPN's Jeff Passan. The baseball community is buzzing with speculation and opinions are divided on whether Wander Franco will ever don a Major League uniform again. As we await the results of ongoing investigations, the fate of Franco's return to MLB remains uncertain. Will the young prodigy ever grace the MLB field again? Only time will tell as more information unfolds, leaving fans and analysts alike on the edge of their seats. Share your thoughts in the comments below. 
Don't forget to check out the rest of the videos on our channel. Like and subscribe for more moments in sports history.